delayed payment of pension arrears to thousands of retired workers has in a way contributed to existing challenges towards growth of some aging people in entrepreneurship. Currently, pension arrears in Uganda stands in excess of over 300 billion shillings, basing on reports from the Ministry of Public Service. Experts also are reasoning that barely 20% of retired persons who have accessed their pension package and kick-start a business survive beyond two years. And research which has been conducted in similar economies like ours and uh, where we have peer uh, schemes uh, have shown that only 80% of members of pension scheme who retire that set up a, um, a business that lasts more than two years. The other 80% actually after two years have nothing to show for those savings, for their lifetime savings. Consequently, it's being argued that given the key challenge of financing to ignite fledging businesses into the core path of growth, the critical exit out of the pension sector mess constitutes a raft of reforms around non-political but technical areas. So that's why I'm saying that 80% need to be taken care of and it can only be taken care of by those products which have named annuities, income drawdown and related product. So as much as we try to improve on, uh, on contributions, remittances uh, between the time you join a pension scheme up to the time you retire, we also need to look, we also need to look at uh, how those, uh, those accumulated assets are used to alleviate old age poverty. Even then, such technically inclined experts agree that their own success in fostering a much stable and progressive fund management unit also requires the Retirement Benefits Authority as a watchdog to be in place. Raina Urgen, NTV Business.